So here we have the BMW 335D M Sport X-Drive Touring. Uh, I'm going to start by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. Uh, from the outside you can see that it's a five-door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So the tailgate on this car will open electronically. You can either do that by pressing the button on the tailgate itself or the button at the bottom of this key. Give that a push, the tailgate will open. As we approach the back of the car, you'll see we've got loads of boot space, as you might expect, with three individually folding rear seats to increase that space even further. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car now, and we'll hop in and run through those controls. But now that we've done a full circle of the car, you can see not only is it in fantastic condition, but it looks really, really good in this estral blue color. Just briefly before I climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. You get full leather seats. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, so now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start off with the dials. On the far left-hand side, we have the fuel gauge, followed by the speedometer, then the rev counter, and then the coolant temperature gauge on the far right-hand side. Uh, at the bottom, in the middle, you can see the total miles on this car are 6,706. You can change the information that's displayed directly above that by pushing a button on the end of the indicator stalk. Uh, if we work our way out to the steering wheel, on the right-hand side, we have stereo controls as well as voice activation for the phone. So hit that button, ask it to dial anyone in your contacts list and it'll do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or pocket. And then on the left-hand side, we have cruise control with speed limiter. You'll see the plus and minus paddles either side of the steering wheel. That is so that you can change gear manually with this automatic gearbox should you wish to. Over in the center, we have the main screen for the car. So this is where you would uh, pair your phone amongst other things. Uh, so firstly, everything that I do by way of moving through these menus is all done using BMW's iDrive system just here. So turning this will take us through the various options. We can push it down, move it right, left, up or down, to select other things within each menu, which I'll show you now. So uh, for example, first of all, you can see this car has got satellite navigation. You can look at the map view there. Uh, you can jog the dial to the left to access this panel to the left, which will then enable you to put route guidance on, for example. If we press the main menu button, we go back to the beginning. We can highlight radio and media. And you can see for yourself, this car's got DAB digital radio as well as FM and AM. In terms of other ways to listen to your music, we have a CD player. Uh, we can stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio, and we have USB input as well. So plenty of ways to listen to your music. Really easy system to use with this iDrive. Uh, you can uh, do it without even really looking down, certainly once you get used to the way that the dial works. Uh, working our way down from there, we have the CD player and the main volume control for the stereo, and then dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the temperature independently on either side of the car. That button will turn the air conditioning on, which it is at the moment, or off, or you can hit auto, and the car will maintain those temperatures by adjusting the fan speed itself. You can override that should you wish to, and it will take auto off, or you can press the auto button to turn it off. We also have a heated driver and passenger seat as well. We then have the fully automatic gearbox. Uh, so you have got D for drive, obviously down the bottom there. You can switch the gear lever over to the left from that mode to then enable you to change up and down a gear, either using the stick itself or uh, with the paddles on the steering, which, which I showed you a moment ago. To the right of that, we can turn on or off the front parking sensors. We can change the driver setup of the car. So we're in comfort at the moment, we can put it in sport mode or eco pro, uh, and that will uh, adjust the sensitivity of the accelerator pedal and the steering, uh, to name just a couple of things. And you can turn off traction control as well from there. We then have the iDrive system, which we've already mentioned. And within the central armrest, we have the USB input. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.